Let's do a problem. Here is the speed time graph of two cars. Speed of car 1 is 5 meters per second and that of car 2 is varying from 0 to 10 meters per second. We have to find out which car travels more distance. If we see in the graph, as we move along the time axis, speed of car 1 remains constant at 5 meters per second whereas speed of car 2 increases from 0 to 10 meters per second. We will find out which car travels more distance. Let's discuss the approach for doing this. For car 1, we can see that its speed is constant at 5 meters per second. Does it mean that its distance covered also remains constant at 5 meters? For understanding this, we can take a simple example. When we are traveling by a school bus at a constant speed of 5 meters per second, as the time increases, our distance traveled keeps on increasing continuously. And if the distance was constant, that would have meant that the vehicle is not moving. So in this graph, it is not the distance which is constant, it is the speed of the car which is constant. So let's take the graph of the car 1 represented by blue line first. We know formula for distance is speed multiplied by time. And if we consider the graph for car 1 and see the area under it, the area shaded in pink is the area under the graph of car 1 and we can see it is rectangular and we know that area of the rectangular is length into breadth. So length here is time and breadth here is speed. So the area of this rectangle will be the product of time and speed. So here we can write area under graph of car 1 is the product of time and speed. So we can write this as speed multiplied by time. So this is same as speed into time is equal to distance. So from here we can say that for a speed time graph, area under the graph gives us the distance covered. So this is very important for a speed time graph, distance covered is given by area under the graph. Can we apply the same concept for graph of car 2 also? With this approach, let's complete the solution. So, as discussed in the approach, distance covered by car 1 is the area of this rectangle. That will be 10, that is the length, multiplied with 5, that is the breadth, meters. So, this is equal to 50 meters. Distance covered by car 2 will be the area of this triangle which is the area under the graph which is shaded in blue here and formula for area of triangle is half base into altitude so this will be half base here is 10 multiplied by altitude here is also 10 so this will be 100 by 2 meters which is equal to 50 meters. So we can see here that for car 1 and car 2, distance comes out to be equal, equal to 50 meters. So in this question, we learned interpreting speed time graphs. We also learned about those values which remain constant and those which keep varying.